There is no point in practicing repetitive questions in the AFM exam to pass this paper. You may have heard somebody saying practicing more exam questions, drafting a tailored study plan, or you will have to study this paper face to face or via live online sections with your tutors to gain a solid pass. I would say no, no, and no to these questions. Because with practicing lots of these repetitive questions, they may not have enough time to understand the fundamental issues related to the exam question itself. And therefore, our approach will be to introduce fundamental questions approach. I would say no to traditional study tests, especially if they are quite huge, saying no to quite a lot of lectures or sections that you need to attend. I will also say no to a larger number of questions, especially a lot of them are quite repetitive each and every time. So using our approach, I will guarantee you with a solid pass within a short period, okay, for this paper. Now, I developed this approach through my years of experience of teaching this paper. And I also used that approach to sit the ACCA qualification exams many years ago, and I qualify as an ACCA fellow using that approach. I use this approach also helping thousands of students passing the AFM exam. For example, in the AFM exam, section A question one would be accounted for 50 marks, most of the marks in this paper. However, a lot of students will simply score less than 20. So therefore, quite a lot of them fail this paper. There's the pass rate, global pass rate for this paper is not particularly high. However, if you use my fundamental questions approach, you can then study this fundamental question and to apply the principles to other questions so you can solve any other questions very easily. Now, for example, in the question one, the fundamental question would be related to the MPV. And of course, the examining team will be extending the idea to, for example, international investment appraisal, business valuations, asking you to commenting on the, the merger and sometimes the economic environment issues, cost of capital determination with changes in risk, and also hedging questions, all building in within that topic of MPV. If you can do the fundamental questions that I set for you, and of course you can solve any of these topics very easily. Now, the above questions is just to be testing you the same topic, but just to be structuring the question in different ways. I assume a lot of AFM students, when watching this video, that they can start understand the concept of fundamental question. Throughout my course, only eight fundamental questions you need to learn to solve any AFM related questions. Now, if you are happy with these questions, when you practice the past exam or even the actual exam, you can fully understand how to pass this paper in a super easy way. I would like to reveal a secret to you. This is what I mean by the Chinese rote learning trick. It's a hundred percent exam focused. You may have heard that Chinese students are quite good at math, applying one principles to other contexts. Why? Because they're using a Chinese road learning trick. They're very good at summarizing things. And I will use this trick in my teaching to help you pass this paper fairly easily. Now, some of you may not be aware those expensive face-to-face -face classes only teach students about the basic exam techniques. Why not learn these techniques on your own in my course, including in my tuition as well as in my revision courses? Now, 
I would like to show you what our courses will look like. Firstly, when you enroll in the course, you can see that we have got, for example, this super package covering the tuition revision platinum questions, selected past exam questions go through, tutor support mock exams, and to download the past exam questions there. You can download our notes quite easily. And then you can also see that clicking on the tuition course, you will see that I've used my own education book, just to be 280 pages, perfect summary of each of these topics Okay, is to go through them just in the way that you need to know required by the AFM examining team. For example, when I talk about the WTO, I don't talk about many of these historical issues, but I talk about what would be the pros and cons to the business. It's where the examining team is very much interested in. For example, the growth methods, I'm summarising them. For example, the risk changes question, I've set the question that very similar to the actual exam style. Now, after that, in my quick revision course, I will firstly summarise all these topics in an other way using my handout. This ensures you to understand fully about the concept before you can dip into my Platinum Super Revision Question Pack. I've created, for example, as I said, eight fundamental questions covering all the bits and pieces that you need to know. For example, in my interest rate risk management question, one single question, I've set all these required areas from the AFM syllabus that you need to familiarize yourself before you go to the example about the futures, options, and even the swaps and even the asset securitization stuff. Not only for that, I will use a very, very effective way, for example, my mnemonic approach to sum all these stuff. So you can learn that and to apply that principle to any sort of interest rate risk management questions in the actual exam. We also have got our practice question book, which will be our kit and you can practice these questions on your own, but you don't really have to, okay, if you don't have enough time to do so. Now, not only for that, if you click on our lectures and you will see the HD quality lectures, you can watch and re-watch, okay, on demand. At the same time, you can also add the caption so you can see what I'm really talking about there. Now, in my Platinum Question Pack, for example, not only that you have got that question and do it on your own, but I would suggest you to go through that question with my recording. I will show you step by step of how to tackle these questions in the actual exam. And it will be quite beneficial and help you to gain a solid pass for the very first time. And I look forward to your exam success soon. Bye-bye.